for they will be filled. That is Matthew chapter 5 verse 6. Understanding the fourth beatitude relies on understanding what exactly Jesus meant by righteousness. So does anybody know what it means to hunger and thirst for righteousness? So well, to hunger and thirst for righteousness means wanting what is right in your life and wanting a right relationship with God and wanting what is right for others. You don't just want what is right, but you're super, super hungry and super, super thirsty for it. Have any of you kids ever been really hungry or really thirsty? Have you ever wanted something so bad that you think about it all the time? I want to show you kids something to help you understand this better. So I have this sponge, it's dried up right now. Um, and it's so dry, it's, well, it's not exactly shriveled up, but when they get so dry, sometimes they can get shriveled up. And this sponge is going to some, represent someone who is really hungry and really thirsty for righteousness. So you can pretend that you're this sponge. You want what's right so bad in your life, you want what's right in others' lives, and you want your relationship with God to be right too. So what do you kids think? Does the sponge look like it's really thirsty and it could use a drink of water? Yeah? Okay, so before we go any further with the experiment, one more look at the verse. Today, it says, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. So the Bible tells us when you hunger and thirst for righteousness, God is gonna fill you up. Isn't that great? But wait, how does this happen? Well, when you put your faith in what Jesus did on the cross, died on the cross for you, that he died to pay for your sins, and because of that, you're made righteous before God. Okay, so remember, this sponge represents you, and you're really hungry and really thirsty. Now, let's see what happens when you believe in God and put yourself in a place to be filled up with God's righteousness. So I'm going to pour some water in here. Okay, now then we're gonna take our dry sponge, we're gonna squeeze it in here, and it feels really heavy. And look at this. Whoa, so the sponge got totally soaked. So, when you have faith in Jesus and your hunger and thirst for what is right, you'll be filled, just like this sponge was. And we have a promise from Jesus that all things will be made right one day. When you see bad things happening in the world today or things not going right in your life, know that when you have faith in Jesus, he's going to make things all better right and better right one day, and you will be filled. Thanks for joining us, Vintage Kids. We'll see you all next week. Bye!